From teen romance to Hollywood leading lady, Reese Witherspoon's love life has been full of twists and turns. In this video, we'll delve into her past relationships and explore what each chapter taught her about love. So let's begin. Jeremy Sisto and Reese Witherspoon had a romantic relationship in the early 1990s. They met on the set of the 1992 TV movie Desperate Choices to Save My Child, where Witherspoon, then an unknown actress, played a teenage girl with leukemia, and Sisto portrayed her boyfriend. Their relationship was long distance for a significant period of time. Sisto was so into her during their time together. However, the relationship ended when Witherspoon went to Africa to film the movie A Far Off Place in 1993, and Sisto mistakenly thought she had broken up with him. So he moved on and started dating his ex-wife, Marissa Ryan. When Witherspoon returned, Sisto realized his assumption was incorrect, but by then he was already involved with someone else. The two actors almost reunited years later when Witherspoon was considered for the lead role in the 1995 film Clueless, which ultimately went to Alicia Silverstone. Though their romantic relationship did not last, Sisto and Witherspoon remained on good terms. In 1993, when Reese Witherspoon was 16 years old and Chris O'Donnell was 22, Witherspoon accompanied O'Donnell to a tribute party for his Scent of a Woman co-star Al Pacino in New York City. This sparked rumors of a romantic relationship between the two actors, but Witherspoon was quoted as saying, I wouldn't date him for all the money in the world. In addition, O'Donnell's rep noted that Chris really likes her, but they're just friends. Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Phillip were one of Hollywood's most celebrated couples in the late 90s and early 2000s. Their love story began in 1997 when they met at Witherspoon's 21st birthday party, even before they started filming the hit movie Cruel Intentions together. As Witherspoon humorously recalled, she told Philippe, I think you're my birthday present. They quietly dated for some time before landing their roles in the provocative teen drama. In 1998, about a year after meeting, the smitten couple got engaged. Their careers were then catapulted in March 1999 with the release of Cruel Intentions. Witherspoon admitted she had to be persuaded to take the role of Annette as it wasn't a great part initially, but Philippe encouraged her and she helped develop the character. Just three months after the movie's premiere, in June 1999, Witherspoon and Philippe tied the knot in a romantic ceremony at the old Wide Awake Plantation in Charleston, South Carolina. At the time, Witherspoon was pregnant with their first child together, daughter Ava. The couple went on to have another child, son Deacon, in 2003. However, after seven years of marriage, they announced their separation in October 2006 with Witherspoon filing for divorce citing irreconcilable differences. Rumors of infidelity surfaced, with Philippe being accused of cheating with his co-star Abby Cornish, though he denied the allegations. Not long after the marriage ended, Philippe revealed in an interview that the divorce was the darkest, saddest place I've ever been. There were a good four or five months of not being able to get out of bed, he said. It was the worst time of my life. Following their divorce, they have continued to co-parent their children, and together they celebrated Deacon's graduation from high school in June 2022. Reese Witherspoon and Jake Gyllenhaal had a fascinating and somewhat tumultuous relationship. The couple first crossed paths on the set of the political thriller Rendition in 2006 during reshoots in Los Angeles. However, it wasn't until 2007 that sparks flew between them. According to People, Jake was the one who made the first move. He found Reese's role as a mother attractive, saying, he really loves kids and wants a family. When they first met, Reese was still dealing with her divorce from actor Ryan Philippe. Initially, she thought they would just be friends, given her focus on family matters. However, over time, she developed a crush on Jake. Their relationship wasn't straightforward. After a brief fling, they parted ways in the same year they started dating. Reese, prioritizing her family, decided to end it. But fate had other plans. Fans were surprised when they were spotted cuddling in Rome just a month after her divorce was finalized. Reese described Jake as very supportive during an interview with Vogue in 2008. Reese and Jake spent weekends together at her farmhouse in Ojai, California. They even grew cucumbers and tomatoes and had chickens. Jake, apparently, was quite the cook. 
Despite their connection, reports later in 2009 suggested that they had split for the final time. Jake was ready for marriage, but Reese wasn't quite there yet. Their relationship ultimately came to an end. In a 2016 interview, Gyllenhaal spoke highly of Witherspoon, calling her one of the smartest, strongest people I've ever met. Reese Witherspoon and Jim Toth's whirlwind romance began in January 2010, when they were introduced by a mutual friend at a party shortly after Witherspoon split from actor Jake Gyllenhaal. Their first encounter was quite memorable. Jim, a successful talent agent at Creative Artists Agency, stepped in to rescue Reese from an awkward situation involving a drunk guy hitting on her. His kindness and genuine nature left a lasting impression. Though initially hesitant as she was still recovering from her high-profile 2006 divorce from Ryan Philippe, Witherspoon eventually agreed to go on a date with the smitten Toth in February 2010. Witnesses described them as very flirtatious over dinner at the Santa Monica eatery Locanda Portofino, with evident chemistry between the budding couple. Their relationship progressed swiftly, with Reese including Jim in her birthday celebrations that March, marking a significant milestone. By December 2010, after less than a year of dating, the pair got engaged as their love had blossomed quickly. On March 26, 2011, they tied the knot during an intimate, laid-back ceremony at Witherspoon's Ranch in Ojai, California. Witherspoon appreciated Toth's low-key, non-celebrity status contrasting her past high-profile relationship. In September 2012, the couple welcomed their son, Tennessee James, into the world, with Toth quickly bonding with Witherspoon's older children as they became a solidified family unit. However, after 12 years of marriage, Witherspoon and Toth announced their divorce in March 2023 via a joint Instagram statement citing it as a difficult decision made with care and consideration amid irreconcilable differences. Despite parting ways, they expressed remaining the best of friends committed to co-parenting 10-year-old Tennessee and putting his well-being first during the transition. Both have spoken about the importance of maintaining an amicable relationship even after their split. So there you have it, a glimpse into Reese Witherspoon's journey of love and partnership. Who knows what the future holds, but one thing's for sure, this Hollywood A-lister will keep inspiring us on and off the screen. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you later, friends.